I had um, got some stamps from All in Create and normally I just put them away and then they kind of collect dust and then when I'm cleaning up I'm like oh yeah I forgot I bought that and then it collects more dust and then eventually I'll use it but today's the day it's not going to happen because I use them <laughs> so if this ever if this has ever happened to you get your stash out things that you bought you plan to use and you haven't used yet all right i am going to start off with a piece of uh, distress heavy cardstock it's measured four and a quarter by five and a half i am going to be making a card my initial thought was to make a tag but then i changed my mind and thought i would make a card instead all right i was looking for my misty uh, this might go fast because I have done a lot of prep. So I have my Distress cardstock here. And I'm going to take, so these are the stamp sets. They're from Bipasha. Uh, I am obsessed with her work and her designs from All in Create. So here are the two sets. I can't remember which one is sold out but one of these is sold out. Um, you might be able to get them at Frantic Stamper, but I know Simon Says Stamp has sold one of them out. Uh, let's see, I'm going to be using this one here, this light bulb with the florals, love that. And then one of these. And then I'm also going to be using a stamp set from my friend Olga. And I'm gonna be using this one and then this one as well. All in Create has some really talented designers over there, I will say. Line this up. Again, this is going to probably go faster than I had anticipated. I was going to wing it, but I just, I, I couldn't do it. I had to, I had to come up with something, so I did. And, um, yeah, all right, so I'm just going to center that right there. I like to use a uh, permanent black ink from Altenew. Yes, Carol, you better be prepared because yeah, they're, they're amazing. All, all in create, you can find them on Instagram and everything. So, all right. This tool here, this stamp endable, when I saw these things coming out, I was like, oh, what a waste. But I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna grab one and why not? Just added it to my cart. And it has been a game changer, especially when my hands are hurting really bad and they are today because I did a lot of fussy cutting. <laughs> so yeah, all right. I'm gonna stamp it a few times to make sure I get a nice, crisp image. All right, should have tacked that down. All right, I think, mm, I think it looks good. All right, then I'm gonna take this stamp off and it's gonna look like a hot mess, but trust me, gotta trust the process. I promise this is a part of the process of just taking your supplies out and just creating so what I did first was I took them out and I um, actually just stamped them out on some um, Distress Heavy Stock. And just stamping them out, honestly, then, my, then the ideas started just flowing because sitting them sitting in the package, nothing was coming to me. It just seems so simple just to stamp them out, but it worked for me. So, all right, I'm gonna use this one. And I'm actually going to stamp it right on top of this. Trust me, I promise it's gonna, it's gonna work out. All right. I'm not worried if it's not 100% straight. Whoops. And we're just going to my ink. Again, this is Alta New Permanent Black Ink. I love this ink. Um, and if you're going to be doing a card or a project like this, so I'm going to be adding some distress spray on top. 
So you want to make sure that you're using a permanent ink, one that's not going to bleed everywhere. All right, so Ingrid says she sketches first. I've never sketched a card ever. I used to go off of um, um, like act like sketches that people did. I don't, I can't remember like um, if anybody remembers Mojo Monday or like those types of things where they have the cards, the card design or card sketch. All right, I think I'm actually gonna do one more time just because I want the numbers to be a little bit more. Yep, and everybody has a different process. And I think that when you find your process, um, what works for you, it'll be easier for you to sit down and create because then you have a kind of like a routine of things that you do to inspire yourself. All right, next, again, I know this looks like a hot mess. Trust me. Okay. And I'm going to take this one and I'm actually going to stamp it in the corner here. All right. So what is everybody up to this Friday? Yeah, I actually am going to be layering the light bulb on top. So I just wanted the design um, I should have talked about that. So I'm going to uh, layer, I fussy cut out the stamped image. So I just wanted this design, the scribbles and the numbers and stuff behind it. So you'll see how it all is all going to come together. You took the day off, Ingrid. We've been, we could have been creating this whole time and I, we could have planned for you to go live with me. Why didn't you tell me? <laughs> All right, so that's gonna be up in the corner. And then I'm going to um, put this one in this corner, but I'm actually going to kind of put it like this. Ooh, Ingrid might go live later. Does that ink stain your stamp? Um, you know, I don't clean my stamp, so I'm not 100% sure if it stains. I'm guessing yes, uh, but I'm not, I don't know, to be honest. All right. So that's what we got so far. Now I am actually going to, where's my example here? Uh, yeah, all right. I have to remember, I did a lot of stamping. All right. Now I'm going to take this stamp here. As you could see, I don't clean my stamps. They're very, very messy. I stopped trying to keep my things clean years and years ago because it just, there's no point, honestly. <laughs> For me, anyways, I am very messy. I love mix, the mixed media look and just trying to do all of that and be um, my creative self wasn't working. So I decided to not try to keep things clean. All right, so now I'm going to go in with this stamp and just go in and kind of stamp randomly, but with purpose as well, because I don't want it to be all uh, covered up. I want a little bit to show through, if that makes sense. And then maybe a little here, a little here. Ah, don't want that. Let's see if I can get rid of that after. All 
Okay. If you don't clean them, how does it work if you use another color other than black? Um, it just does. <laughs> Uh, I don't typically use a lot of other colors to stamp with, um, black, brown, gray. So, um, yeah, it's just, um, it's just what works for me. So I'm going to come in and try to. This is a sand eraser, and I think I made it worse. Yeah. All right. That's okay. We can do some splatters and cover it up. All right. Now, I'm going to add some color. Let's see. First, I'm going to start with speckled egg. Yeah. All right. And I'm not going to add color to the whole background. So I'm just going to kind of come up here a little bit here. And if you are intimidated by sprays, what I always like to do too is just take it out and splatter it. And then I'm going to spray a little water there. Just splatter, splatter. Or you can use a paintbrush. Um, yeah, and Audrey, the, the stamps work just fine. As long as you don't get like uh, modeling paste or anything like that on them, they'll stamp perfectly fine. Um, I will wipe them off with a baby wipe maybe if I am using like a red versus the black that I maybe used before. But overall, I don't typically clean my stamps. So let me see, where is, did I put it away? Oh no, it's right here. Weathered wood. All right, I'm just gonna splatter this one on. There we go, just like that. If you are creating, um, I would love to see what you're creating, even if it's, you know, not inspired by what I'm doing. Just love to see. Let me grab a baby wipe. I am going to add a little bit of rusty hinge. And this one, I'm just going to splatter up here, splatter here. And then, so when I want to get bigger splatters, I forcefully splatter like this. But then when I am, I wish I could, I had different camera views, but then when I want littler splatters, I just tap it like this. And then when I want more, I just go in and dip it in there and then it'll kind of pick up some of that color. All right. All right, I am actually going to dry this. Next, I am going to add some micro distress glaze. If you use distress colors, distress um, uh, inks or sprays, distress micro glaze is a must have. It's, I always call it the magic in the bottle because it's just that. It, brings everything just to life and brightens everything adds like this weird depth to the color. I don't know how, how it, it does it, but it just does. <laughs> All right. So we're going to add this to brighten it up. And then also when I add the white splatters, it will keep the white looking white instead of seeping into the color behind. Ingrid, you better get it out. <laughs> All right. And I wish that it could show how amazing it is on camera, but it just doesn't. Okay. So, you know how like on uh, the Food Network, they like the magic of television? Well, I have the magic of life where I have a card. <laughs> 
<laughs> that I had stitched on. So it's all done, all the stamping, everything, you know, so just adding that stitching. And I took probably three days. Audrey, I'm with you. I don't like to clean. I took three days to clean off the other side of my desk. So um, I can pull out my sewing machine. So that is what that looks like with the stitching on it. Just add something else. And then um, I'm going to take, we're going to do a little bit of coloring because I, I honestly could be done right now, but I don't feel like being done. So if I can find where I put this. Okay. So we are going to do some coloring with distress stains. I'm going to use the stamp again, this light bulb. Thank you, Diane. Appreciate that. Okay. Okay. It's going to be a lot of glare, but I need to move this <laughs> out of the way. This is bugging me. All right, there we go. Keeps moving on me. All right. I'm going to take the ink. And because I'm going to be doing watercoloring, I need to make sure that I'm using a permanent ink. All right, so I, that's maybe what I should have put for the the poll. Do you clean your stamps or no? Let's see, who cleans their stamps all the time and who doesn't clean their stamps? So I'm going to add one more for good measure. There we go. I think this says, Always find a reason to smile. I love that. Diana didn't want to show that. <laughs> All right. Let's see, let's see if I can zoom in just a tad bit. There we go. All right, and it looks like more stamp cleaners and not stamp cleaners, so. All right, so I'm just gonna spray some water on here. I should have grabbed, actually. Oh, hey Kelly, my cat's right in front of the drawer that I need. Is that move? Okay, never mind. So I'm just going to, I added some uh, water to my mat here and I'm going to grab a washcloth. Lindsay, hello there. All right. I am going to start off with some rusty hinge. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a little bit to my surface here. This is very technical, so watch close, okay? So I'm going to take a little bit of water, add a little bit to my flower, go in with that color, and... Just like that. We're going to build up doesn't have to be scary. A lot of people are intimidated by watercoloring, but you know, I'm not looking to put this in a museum for art, right? It's a card. So 
I'm not really worried about it being perfect. I don't worry about perfect shading, perfect coloring, anything like that. Just to get some color down. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of crackling campfire. She's just gonna give another um, shade to the, and I'm gonna dab it on there or like tap it. I'm not going to brush it on. Uh-oh, my computer's working overtime. All right, and I was just kidding about it being very technical. It's actually not, it's quite the opposite. All right, then I'm going to do the same thing to this flower up here. Just like that. Just get the color down. And I have a, a washcloth here to wipe off my paintbrush so I don't get too much water on here because this isn't watercolor paper. Distressed paper will hold quite a bit of water, but it's not watercolor paper, so. And, okay. And I'm just taking a, my brush with a little bit of water and just kind of tapping it on there. Um, and then I have these little buds here. I'm just gonna go in the color quickly go in and kind of try to blend that out a little bit because I forgot to put the water first and then go in around the bottom here just to give it a little bit more color I'm gonna go in to these little tiny buds and I'm gonna tap the water on there I tap the color on as well and I'm not worried about it being perfect I don't care if I get it out of the lines because I will um, fussy cut this out so Doo -doo -doo. Um. there we go all right, I think, yep, I'm going to get that up. Then I'm going to take a speckled egg. I'm just going to tap some on here. And some more water. Add it to the light bulb. And then speckled egg. I think I added too much water. I don't like to dip directly with the paintbrush in here, but I'm going to have to for this speckled egg. Only because I will drop it and it will spill everywhere if I leave it open to do that. So. All right, and go back in up here, go around. Uh, Diane, I am using Distress Heavy Stock. So nothing crazy, but it does, um, if you are going to do a little bit of watercoloring, you should use watercolor paper or like a heavy mixed media paper. I wouldn't use an 85 pound Nina or anything like that. Oh, sorry. You guys aren't yelling at me that I'm off camera. All right. Now I'm going to take weathered wood. And tap a little I'm just going to go in and dip here. You people that uh, clean your stamps are probably freaking out that I'm <laughs> double dipping. <laughs> I did a speckled egg, didn't clean off my paintbrush, and then went right into the weathered wood 
Distress Spray. All right. And I'm actually going to do the butterfly this color as well. Let's find some water here. There we go. And I am being a little bit more messy with this one only because I do have one that's already done. So, um, all right, but I wanted to show you how I did it. I'm gonna go in with um, greens. So I started with shabby shutters and then peeled paint. So I'm just gonna tap some on here. And then a little bit of peeled paint. And you could definitely use, if you don't have sprays, you can use um, your distress inks as well. I, I don't have a lot of just like regular distress inks. If I'm going to be using them, I like to use the sprays. So I'm just going to go in here and um, hold on one second. I'm going to make sure that my husband knows I'm live. All right. It's got to pop down over there. Just kidding. All right. We'll go into all these leaves and even the branches or not the branches, the stems. This leaf here. All right, did it freeze on me? No, okay, there we go. I'm gonna go in with the darker color. So the two colors are shabby shutters and peeled paint. Just gonna dab, dab them on or like pounce them on and then go in with a little bit of water. Just kind of messily watercolor look. This is really good for me because I don't, I'm not a watercolorist, but I love the look. So I compromise and that's just how I like it. It's not too, um, too difficult to do that. All right. So with that done, I uh, spared you watching me cut it out. So I already have it done. So this is the one that I did and I did add micro glaze to it and I actually added some stamping as well. Um, where is that stamp? I'll break here. So I used this stamp and just stamped. Um, it's, it's, too, it's too wet to do that right now. But um, you could see, let me show you, hopefully. I don't know how well this is. Yep, you could probably see the stamping. And then I did some stitching on there, added some splatters. Yep. All right. Then we're going to take our piece here. And this is the one that I had done previously because I wanted to do some stitching and um, didn't want to bore you with that. Can't remember if I put micro glaze on this or not. I'm just gonna do it just because, yes, I believe I did. All right, now I'm going to add some white splatters. Never too many splatters. And what I like to use for splatters is the Dina Wakely Gloss Spray in white. And I like to do a little bit of aggressive splattering and then um, going to get some color in that nozzle. All right. 
And then you always want to spin it around as well because you don't want the splatters going the same way. Not that you can really tell, but my eyes can tell on my own project, obviously, on anybody else's. <laughs> All right. There we go. It looks like a hot mess, but watch this. I'm going to take the light bulb and I'm going to actually pop it up with some foam. So I believe this foam is from scrapbook.com. And I love it because it comes in this huge roll and I could just tear it. Don't like to stop and cut and all that. Anything that messes up my workflow, I try to avoid at all costs because then So, all right, who's excited for the new ideology tomorrow? I don't know what it is. I am not the maker for that. So, I'm excited to see. Right, just add some there, and then I'm going to add a little one to this piece here. It isn't glossy. Uh, you could use watered down gesso, but not too like do, using gesso is tricky because it needs to be watered down, but you don't want it too watered down, or else it's going to be too watery. <laughs> so you got to try to find the right consistency of. Um, what what works what whoops what's going to work for um splattering and to be honest when you splatter it it's it's really you really can't tell too much that it's glossy Oh, I haven't really been. I posted this morning on Instagram, but I haven't really been on to see. So I better get up, get on there and see. I'm excited. All right. So we're going to pop this up just like this. I think I stamped this crooked. Just like that. Okay, then if you were to spray it, yes, it, you could tell uh, the gloss sprays are really glossy, but I mean, you could tell that it's glossy, like if you look, right, compared to a, a distress spray, but I mean, a little bit of splatters isn't going to be, I don't like gloss either, so I do have this stamped uh, butterfly from Tin Holtz. Where did I put it? It's moth study. I always call them butterflies. I know they're moths, but I just like butterflies. Okay. Then I put a little bit of this washi tape from All In Create. It's this one here. And then I added, I think this is like muslin material or something. And then I stitched it all together. We're just going to put that right there. And I think I might pop that up as well, but I'm going to use a uh, distress collage medium to add that because of the micro glaze. It's not going, <laughs> it's not going to um, want to stick very well. So maybe where is my little oh, come on, where's my little needle? Put the 
put it up here somewhere. Okay, I take that back. <laughs> oh, you should see the other bug. Where is it? I don't know where I put it. It's another one. It's one from All in Create. It's like a big beetle that I just got. It's amazing. All right. I'm going to pop this up. Looks really messy. Super messy. I'll post a picture. Um, later on today, when I'm done, I'll take a photo and post a picture. Okay, so I've got that. And then, do I love bugs in real life? No, I do not. I have a bug farm, Ingrid. I have scorpions in my backyard, got some wolf spiders, um, let's see. I can get this. there we go. Okay. I'm just going to add, hello, Jen. Add this here. Choose to shine. These sticker books from Tim Holtz, the quote ones are my favorite. They save me all of the time because I don't want to stamp out a sentiment. And I'm actually going to take this off because you could see that it didn't want to stick well to the micro glaze. So I'm going to add some micro or some just uh, collage medium to the back of all of the foam tape. All right. We've got little bunnies running around, all sorts of things. Tarantula sun spiders. All the, yes, all the scary spiders. I remember growing up, I want to say we were going to the lake. And I don't remember 100% where we were going because I was really young. But my stepfather, he had stopped. And in the middle of the road was a huge tarantula. Brought it home, had it as a pet, got out. Who knows where it went. So... that. There we go. Now it's going to stay. So, whoops. I think I might rough up the edges as well, just because this is looking too clean on the edges. So I'm just going to rough up these edges with the scissors. Oh yeah, we had snakes. We had all kinds of stuff. Does anybody like to add stitching to their projects? I go through phases because I have to have my other side of my desk clean so that I can pull it out all the time. And so I go through stages of having my desk clean enough to, okay. This is really making me mad because it's not what I want to do. Um, and then I just get over trying to keep it clean and then there's no room to pull it out. So I go through stages of having stitching on my projects and then not stitching. All right. I'll put that back. 
on here, just like this. Oh, the wolf spiders are the worst. They're so gross looking. They're so fast. Ugh, they're the worst. Okay, I'm just going to hold this in place. See, if I would have not colored for you guys, it would have been done in like 20 minutes. So, and I'm sure you guys love hanging out with me and each other. All right, I need to switch up my sitting here. Oops. All right, and I think I'm just going to add a few more splatters. A little bit on that butterfly, just like that. And there we go. Got dimension, got some different textures going on, all of the stamping. I love it. So I am so glad that I decided to, cause I had them out and I was gonna play with them today. And I thought, you know what? I'll probably find something else to do and not end up playing with them, not creating for myself. And so I thought, you know, I think I'm just going to go live so that I do it. And that's what happened. <laughs> so that's why I am live today, kind of random on a Friday. But I did realize it is crafting month, national, international crafting month. So who knows? There might be another live sometime next week too. Just because why not? A little better? Did it even help at all? No? All right. I think that's all I got for you guys today. I really appreciate you all hanging out with me, chatting. Oh, if you haven't grabbed your free, the free distress color combo guide, uh, be sure to do that. I am planning because there's been so many other colors since I did that last. Um, I am planning on doing another one. Most likely when the, I think there's two more colors, three more colors. I don't even know um, when the other colors come out because I don't want to have to do another one. Um, does anyone know what the clip feature is? Cindy, so the clip feature is you can clip a video uh, like say this one. I think I have that feature off. Um, if I'm not mistaken, but you can clip it and then kind of, I don't know if you're familiar with TikTok, but you can, I'm pretty sure like duet it or, um, stitch it or whatever they call it here on YouTube. Um, somebody else's video. All right. If there isn't any more questions, I'll give you another little look. like that. Love it. And I'll post a photo later on Instagram and the link to my Instagram. Um, yes, make a short, um, is in the description as well. And I would love to connect with you over there. I share a lot on my stories and lots of reels and things like that. So I'd love to connect with you over there as well. And I want to thank you all for hanging out with me. Um, and be sure to click this playlist right here for more distress techniques. And I will catch you all later. Bye.